Hello everyone, welcome to another Pilates session with Ash. Sorry it's been a while, I've been a bit unwell, so bear with me. This is going to be my first class back, so I'm going to give it my best shot. I'm excited to get moving, hope you all are too. I'm inside today because it's absolutely bucketing with rain outside, so let's get a good sweat on. We don't need any equipment today, just going to use our bodies and the mat. If there's time to end, we might use our water bottle. We'll see, but just have your water nearby. That's all you need and yourself. So let's just start with a nice stretch, guys, because I am super stiff. Start at the end of your mat, standing up nice and tall. And let's just take that roll down, peeling down towards our toes. Oh, really lengthen out through the back of the legs. I'll take a few rocks up onto my toes and back onto my heels. I feel like that forces me to get a little further down towards the floor. Try to reach those hands down to the floor, even if it's just your fingertips hanging, or maybe some little rocks from side to side. And let's bring those hands back to centre. We're going to walk out into our downward dog position. So think hands flat. We want our arms and legs nice and long. And from here, just shift your weight back into your heels. Head back between your arms. You should feel that really nice stretch through those hamstrings and the calves. As well as through the top of that body. Oh, God, I'm very stiff. I might just pedal out the heels one at a time. Both is a little too much for me today. Now what we're going to do here guys is shift our weight forward into a plank. Maybe you need to walk your hands forward a little bit. Let's start to wake up that core straight away. So what we're going to do from here coming from our plank, going to come back into that downward dog position, bring your hips up, but this time you're going to bring your right hand to your left ankle, bring it back, shift your weight back into that plank, hips forward, hips back up, left hand to right ankle, back forward, up, tap, down, up, tap, down. So you're going to feel that nice stretch here still and that opening up through the body, that stretch, but really think about waking up that core as well, so drawing that belly in as you lift those hips up to the ceiling and keeping that belly on as we shift into that plank. It's like a little pike, so you might stay up on those toes as those hips pike up. Might even pick up that pace a little and start with a little warmer. 10 more seconds. I'm gonna hold our plank in five. Four, three, two, and one. Hold the plank. Now let's warm up that upper body. Straight to our commandos. Forearm, forearm, hand, hand. Forearm, forearm, hand, hand. Whew. Switching which hands you're lifting after. That was not even words. Lifting which hand you lift up on each time. Keep that going just for 10 more seconds. Keep that belly button drawn in. Abs switched on. Squeeze your glutes. Just for five, four, three, two, and one. Knees down. Oh, just sit that bum back into your heels and roll the shoulders back. Okay. I'm dizzy. <laughs> oh, I'll just work through it. Should be nice and awake now. Heart rate's up, so let's get straight into our first round of high intensity. Standing straight up on your mat. I'll shuffle back a bit so you can see me. This one here, guys, it's going to be a lunge into a little hop. But we'll work through it in a few layers. So, to start with, you're going to step your left foot forward, right knee is going to 
hinge up, step that right leg back, lunge down with that left leg, tap to the floor. Left foot forward, right knee comes up and straight down. So it's one full motion. Whichever foot steps forward is the one that's gonna be reaching back. Left leg goes all the way down, right knee bends, right knee bends. Now adding in that tap if you can here as you lunge down, forcing you to bend a little deeper into that right leg. Now if you feel comfortable, adding in a little hop at the top, exact same legs, but you're just hopping up onto that left leg and then straight back down with the same. Same legs the whole time, just adding a little hop to get that heart rate up a little bit more. Can pick up that pace a little, coming straight up, straight down, just 15 seconds you guys. And we'll stay low in this lunge, holding to finish. Keep this up. Really explode off that left foot, just for five. Holding down on that right leg in four, three, two, one. Hold it down. And while our heart rate is up, work on that balance, hands to hips. What we're gonna do is bring that torso up nice and tall. Holding down in this lunge position and just pulsing up and down. Not coming all the way up, just that left knee coming down towards the floor and back up. Right glute should be really starting to feel this now. Push through that right heel, keep that torso up tall. Ten more seconds, hold the lunge down low. Stay strong. I know it's under fatigue here. Let's go in five. Holding down low in four, three, two, one. Hold down low, shift your weight forward, back leg is straight. All we're gonna do, reach your arms forward, stand up tall, and reach your forward. Stay low on your right leg. No rest here. Just that lean forward, tummy comes close to the knee, and back up. Last little bit. Cool, quad and glutes should be on fire. Mine are shaking. Just for eight seconds. Gonna reach forward and hold in four, three, two, one. Reach forward, hold, hold. Can you bend a little deeper for five, four, three, two, one. Stand up, ow. Oh my God, that was just my last second. I was full shaking there. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh, take a leg straight down. On your back, guys. Take a quick hug. Hold your knees into your chest. Little circles. Ooh. Oh, I'm puffed. Alrighty guys, we'll work into some abs now, just to break up those legs. So staying down on your back. Oh, we'll bring our legs into tabletop and we're gonna start with some toe taps. So let's get that nice, strong tabletop. Knees on top of hips, feet in line with knees. And just start with single leg first. Tap down, then the other. Just a light tap here. And make sure those legs come straight back to tabletop. Don't want those knees hugging into our bellies. Now if that feels good, work into your doubles. Make sure you're moving nice, slow and controlled. Don't want any arching through that lower back. So keep that belly drawn in. Feel those abs working the whole time to keep that back flat on the mat. Fifteen seconds here. Gonna come straight into leg extensions. In five, legs back into tabletop. In three, 
two, one. Legs to tabletop, let's go. Legs extend out, back to tabletop. Now, if double is too much, just go to your singles. Keeping that belly flat. Now we're gonna add in a little reverse crunch here. Next time your legs go long, bring your arms up overhead. Next time your legs come in, I want you to hug them into your tummy this time. Crunch up into a tight little ball. Open everything back out. Crunch in and open out. So the legs are coming into that tummy this time. And you're crunching that chest up, bringing your nose to your knees. Exhale as you crunch. Inhale to open back up into that dish shape. 15 seconds here, we're gonna hold up in that ball. Finish off with our hundreds. Final six seconds here in five, four, three, two, on this one. Hold up that ball, hold it nice and tight. Pump those arms up and down, up and down. Hold that crunch up as high as you can. Keep that ball as tight as you can. Feel that burn in those abs. Can you tuck those knees in anymore for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Lower down. Ouch. Quick rock of those knees from side to side. Oh. Ouch, 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 ouch. Just let those legs and arms go long, quick. Lengthen out of that belly. And we're gonna roll straight onto our tummy. So roll it straight over. I'm so sweaty. Oh, sounds like hot Pilates in here. The heater is blasting. Okay, we're gonna get ready for now, so a little bit more upper body. So getting ready for some push-ups here. I'm gonna start with our half push-ups because that's what I can do for this exercise. So start with your half, see how you're going. You can always push yourself to the full push-ups. So knees down, hips gonna come forward. We want that long line from your shoulders, hips down to your knees, and just start with nice control push-ups. Chest down and up. Inhale as we come down. Exhale, push that chest away. Now we're gonna add on some layers here just to make it a bit more challenging. Now, if you don't wanna take the layers, you do not have to. We're gonna add in a little single arm variation here. Don't worry, we're not doing a single arm pusher. Next time we come up, do the hold, reach one arm forward, back down to your push up, other arm forward. Back down to your push up, this time backwards. Squeeze back, down your push up, other arm, squeeze back, push up. Keep that going, forward, down, forward, down, back, down, back, down. This is gonna wake up those shoulders, just that little bit more, and those triceps. Squeeze it back, just 15 seconds you guys. Get that upper body really fired up. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no surprises to finish this off. Let's go all the way to the end, just for seven, six, five, four, three, two, and just even it off. One. Oh. Ouch. Rolly, 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 rolly. I'm killing it. I'm killing it. I meant to say I'm dying. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Another little round of cardio here in between. I'm gonna come straight up into a plank. And all we're gonna do, five seconds of jumping jacks, abductions, whatever you wanna call it. So it's just going out, in, out, in with those toes. So you go for four. Three, two, one, jump straight in, stand up, straight back out into your plank. This time, five seconds of mountain climbers. Five, four, three, two, one, jump.
jump in, stand up, straight back to those jumping jacks. Four, three, two, one. Now, five, four, three, two, one. In, stand up. Let's go, just 20 seconds of this, guys. Time yourself. However fast or controlled you want to go. One. Oh, keep it up. Final ten. Last one. Let's go. Four, three, two, one, and up. And rest. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Grab a sip of water. I'm done. get up and even out those little jumps and lunges on the other side just a little bit more abs get that heart rate back get it nice and strong so back on our hands got little knee hovers here so tuck your toes under now if this gets too much on the wrist you can always do it down on the forearms as well but we're not here for long all you're going to do is just lift your knees up hips come up drop the knees back down Lift up, lower down. Now I want you to really think of scooping up through your belly and that's gonna do the lifting. And drop back down. Once you've got that feeling here, let's just not let those knees touch the mat. Lift up and down. Scooping up through that belly. Add in a little extra. Next time we come up, Step out into a plank, back in, two knee hovers, back out, back in, two knee hovers. Little tap up, tap, up, out, in, in, up, down. Oh, my arms are dying. 10 seconds to go. We're finishing off with little salsa kips. In five, four, Three, two, one. Hold those knees bent. All you're gonna do is sway from side to side. Toes are gonna sway as well. So do a little twist on those toes. Feel those obliques wake up here. Just last 10 seconds. Sway, sway a little dip of those hips. Just for five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, quads as well. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Oh. Okay. Oh, let's get ready for the fun stuff. Oh. Okay. We're going to get ready for those little hops and lunges on the other side. Oh, I just can't get rid of this puff. Okay, this time we're going to be stepping forward with our right leg first. Left one's going to be doing the work. So right foot steps forward, left knee bends in, left foot comes down, right leg goes back. Oh, here we go. And back. Right foot steps forward, knee in, and down. So now right foot steps forward, so the right foot's going to be the one stepping back, and the left knee is bending. So the left knee is bending. Tuck in, bend low. Tuck in, bend low. Just touching the ground beside that left foot. Each time you lunge down. Now if you like that little bit extra, adding in that little hop at the top. Hop, lunge down. Hop, lunge down. Ooh, losing my balance. Really push through that left heel 
and we lunge down low, explode off that right foot as we jump up. So close guys, 10 seconds, holding down onto that left leg, get ready for that little lunge sequence. In five, four, three, two, one, hold it down low, hands come to hips, bending down through that back leg, and we're pulsing up and down. So we're not coming up, staying low the whole time, left glute should really be on fire. The goal to try and tap that right knee down to the ground. I can't go that low for now. <laughs> oh yeah. Push through that left heel. 10 seconds to go. And we're holding down low. In five, four, three, two, one. Hold down low. Lean forward, back leg is nice and straight. Arms reach forward, come up, and lean back forward. Up, lean back forward. Stay low in this left leg. Just that torso hinging. Forward and back. Eight seconds here. And we're just holding forward. In five, four, three, two, and one. Lean forward, hold. Stay low in this left leg. Just for five, four, three, two, and one. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my gosh, oh my butt. Coming down to the mat, guys. Grab that sip of water. Give those legs a break. Give the abs a break. We're gonna get into our back. Oh, so thankful to lay down on my belly. Oh, have a moment. All right, guys, just reach your hands forward. Legs long. All we're gonna be doing here is bending through one elbow as we lift our head up off the mat. So think of lifting up. One elbow is bending down. I want you to look down towards that hand. As the other arm stays long, reach both back forward. Other arm bends, down by your armpits, and back forward. So just squeezing up into that back and squeezing into one side of the lats and back down. Feet can stay down flat if you like a little extra. Lifting both up as we squeeze back and up. So both hands coming up off the mat, lifting that chest up, but just bending one elbow back. It's gonna squeeze and activate our lats, so think of squeezing those armpits. And that's it. Holding for at least one count each time we squeeze. Oh yeah. 15 more seconds, guys. We'll come back to center. In five, four, three, two, and one. Come back to center. Whew. All right, guys, now I'm gonna do a little breast strokes. So, from here, both arms reaching forward. Both arms are gonna bend back this time. So lifting up as we circle our arms around, squeeze them down back, armpit, reaching back forward, head comes down. Lift up, circle round, squeeze our armpits. Reach back forward, head comes down. Again, you can start with your legs down on the mat. If you like a little more, squeeze them up as you breaststroke. And 
legs out. Squeezing your glutes the whole time. Feel that upper back really working here. 15 seconds. We're going to hold that lift. Hold that back extension. Keep that breath going. Final eight seconds. We squeeze up and hold. In five, four, three, two, on this one, squeeze up, hold. Now we just reach arms forward and back. Forward and back. Let's go. Ten seconds. Bring those feet up off the mat if you can. Just for six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lay down. Oh my gosh. Deep breath. Bring your hands down on the side of your mat. Let's take a quick cobra stretch here. Keep those hips down flat. Squeeze your glutes. And bring your chest back down. Oh, squeeze up. And bring down. One more. Awesome guys, one final sequence here. We'll finish with some little hip bridges. So I want you to grab that water bottle. Like we said, start rolling back onto our back. Oh, make sure you can see me here. Beautiful. All oh, we're gonna do is our hip bridges here, but I want our water bottle just in between our knees. Squeeze it nice and tight. Gonna get those inner thighs on. Hands down flat to start. Pushing through those heels, let's squeeze those hips up nice and high and melt them back down. Squeeze up and melt down. Glutes might be a little fatigued, mine definitely are. We've got to get those inner thighs working. So if you need to bring those heels a little closer together so you get that good squeeze on the bottle, do it. If you'd like a little more, you can reach those hands up to the ceiling. Let's add a little fly next time we come up. Fly those arms out wide, reach them back to the ceiling as we come down. Up, fly, and down. Otherwise, you can keep those hands flat down on the mat. Totally up to you. Little active recovery here, letting that heart rate come down. Just got 15 seconds here of these bridges. Inner thighs are waking up. Let's go final 10. Holding our bridge up. In five, four, three, two, one. Hold our bridge up, squeeze your bottle in, in, little pulses. Oh yeah. Squeezing that bottle a little bit harder each time. 10 seconds here. Finishing with our little hip dips. Gonna squeeze that bottle as hard as we can in five, four, Three, two, one. Squeeze your bottle, little hip dips up and down with your hips. That's it. Oh, inner thighs should be on fire for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Our bottle can go away. Oh my gosh. Let the soles of your feet come together. Let your knees drop out wide. Oh, I feel that stretch here through those inner thighs. Takes the little rocks from side to side. Let your arms just come overhead. And let those knees fall a little further with each exhale.
God, it's raining outside. It's actually quite soothing. Bring your hands back, guys. Let's just take a quick squeeze. Stretch of those glutes. Crossing one ankle across your knee. Hug the back of one of your bottom legs and just hug. I'm lost. Just hug that knee into your chest and feel that nice stretch through the left glute. May even extend that top leg long as well. Have a few little rollouts through that ankle. Let that knee come down with this same knee. Cross it across that top leg. Let that bottom leg go nice and long and just take that torso stretch. Bending this left arm or the opposite arm to where your leg is into a little cactus arm and just look over to that side. Try and keep that opposite shoulder down flat on the mat to really feel that stretch through that torso. And we'll bring it back to center and stretching through that opposite leg, right ankle into the left knee, hug the hands behind that leg and really feel that stretch here through that glute. Lengthen that back leg, take some little rollouts if you need. Let that bottom leg go down straight and just roll oh, that right leg across. Practice on that opposite leg, try to keep that shoulder blade down flat on the mat. Oh, yes. Got some good cracks. Bring it back to center. Just take a little sit up. One final stretch for those inner thighs, just heels together. Taking that little butterfly here. <sighs> try and press your elbows down on your knees if you like. Otherwise sitting up tall and just trying to take that little peel forward. <sighs> up tall and peeling forward. Elbows onto knees, oh yeah. Whatever else you need, guys, oh, take that stretch here. Otherwise, you are all done for your session today. Hope you all found that beneficial. I definitely didn't. I am sweating bullets. But it's so nice to get moving again. Hope you all enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. Love you all. Bye.